Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today I wanna to be talking about how to pick a French Bulldog, which is very, very, very important. And I wish I was more educated before I picked my French Bulldog. 2020 was when I got my first French Bulldog. And I look back and I'm like, wow, like I really did not know anything when I purchased her like I seen her picture and I was like sold I didn't know anything I didn't know nothing at all I literally didn't ask any questions I was like she's just cute I'll take her huge learning experience so that's why I'm here making this video today I just wanted to um go over a couple recommendations that I would say um before choosing your French Bulldog so one thing is definitely you have to figure out if you want to get a male or a female thing to look into is if you want to breed um so with french bulldogs if you do want to breed if the dog comes with full akc or if it comes as pet price so typically the full akc french bulldog will come with the full um the full rights to breed and it's paperwork saying that both mom and dad are full akc French Bulldogs and you will have full rights to breed your dog and basically stating that your dog is a full breed. Um, if you do want a pet price dog, either the puppy will not come with the full AKC, they will either come with the limited AKC or they'll come with no papers. So uh, it just depends on the breeder on how they like to do things. Either they won't have papers or they'll give you the puppy fixed so then you cannot breed. Um, so that is one thing that you do have to think about and look into. Do you want to breed your French Bulldog or do you just want it as a pet? Totally your preference. The thing that I would recommend is if you do want to breed, um, I would definitely look into what your puppy carries and what shade is your puppy. Also pictures of the parents. That makes a very, very big impact of the puppy and what the puppy is going to look like because it's the, the parents made the puppy so it kind of gives you an idea of what the puppy will look like all puppies are adorable they're super cute when they're small but who knows what they're going to look like when they get bigger so you can kind of reference the pictures of the parents to see what your puppy is going to look like when it gets older how long is the tail how big is the ears is the puppy going to be tall and long is the puppy going to be short and compact so all of those things make a big difference in the breeding world um also another thing I would definitely recommend um, asking for mom's DNA and dad's DNA on top of the DNA for the puppy because you want to make sure that everything is legit. You want to make sure that um, you kind of have an idea of what your dog can produce. Also another thing too is if you cannot read DNA, I would recommend asking exactly what your dog carries and if they can break it down like um because with the dna they'll just it's just a chart where it just has letters and if you can't read the dna you're going to be completely confused i know i'm still trying to learn the dna and it's super confusing so if you know anybody that can read dna and tell you exactly what your dog carries or um the person that you're buying the dog from if you can ask them if they can break down the dna and what the dog carries then it's even better for you drop your deposit because most of the time they're going to want you to drop a deposit i would highly recommend i can't express this enough i would highly recommend facetiming the person making sure the person has the puppy in hand before you drop your deposit because a lot of scam people out there will show you a picture of a puppy that they are not selling and don't even have in hand definitely recommend facetiming that person to make sure you see the puppy all angles you get a, a visual of the type of living environment that they're in uh, where are they sleeping where's mom where's dad like those are questions that you want to ask because the last thing you want is to be sold a puppy and the puppy's sick and dies of course nobody wants that so you want to make sure that the puppy was raised in a clean environment. You want to make sure that, you know, the siblings look healthy. Your puppy looks healthy. You want to make sure that the puppy comes with updated shots. The puppy's going to come from a good home and also you're buying from the right breeder. Personally, I would recommend 
um, asking somebody that you know or having someone make a recommendation of a breeder that does good business because the last thing you want is to buy a dog from somebody and never hear from them again you don't you don't want that you want to do good business with good people so these are people that are going to be in your lives forever you know this is you're doing business with them and of course when it comes time for you to breed your dog that's the person that you should be asking questions to the person that you purchased your dog from. They should be able to help answer questions. They should be able to help walk you through the breeding process, um, whether it's a male or a female, um, to be able to answer any questions that you have. Also ask if they've dewormed the puppy, how many weeks is the puppy, where are they located? Should be brought up is location. Are they gonna drop off the puppy to you? Do you need to pick up the puppy? What happened if the person lives out of state and you have to take the airplane? You know, these are questions that I believe should be asked before purchasing a puppy because if these people live across the country, you have to take a flight or they have to take a flight or somebody has to take a flight to get this puppy down here. So I believe those are very important questions to ask um, if they're local or how far away, what's gonna happen with transportation. Those are things that should be brought up before purchasing the puppy. I would recommend asking them before you pick up the puppy what type of food so you can get the same food when the puppy comes home to you. It's just the easy trans transition for them to be able to stick to the same food. Or I would recommend asking them for a little bit of kibble so then when you come home, you can transition them to whatever kibble you want to transition them to. It will just be an easier transition for the puppy's stomach because transitioning food for dogs it's very harsh on their stomach so it's just an easier transition uh for you and the dog. so definitely do your research on who you're buying your dog from and um see their past clients an instagram page most of the time the breeders will post a picture of their past clients go look at the clients pages see if they still have a dog because a lot of scam people will post pictures of other people's dogs and they'll tag each other's friends so there's like a group of people that's in on the scam that that people don't realize and they're sending their money to people expecting a puppy that they will never get so just be very very cautious when um who you're sending your money to who you're sending pictures to um just be very cautious like i said recommendations go a long way things that i've learned from and i believe they do make a big difference um, because the last thing you want is to purchase a dog you don't know where it came from you don't know who the parents are you don't know what it carries um you don't know what the dog's gonna look like and you know all of that stuff so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon don't forget to like comment share and subscribe